BMW's renowned for many things. Luxury saloons, load lugging estates, and of course, its performance M car range. But one thing it's not that known for is electric vehicles. But that's until now, when we're being taken around in the new i3 that's taking center stage at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. So what are three interesting facts we can tell you about BMW's first electric car? Number one, it's available as all electric or a range extender. The full electric model uses 22 kilowatt lithium ion batteries, capable of producing 170 brake horsepower, meaning the i3 can hit 62 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds. It has an 80 to 100 mile range on a full charge, but if you want more miles, a range extender is available. Now this has a supplementary 34 brake horsepower 650cc motorcycle engine. Performance figures do drop off, but the range goes up to 186 miles claimed. Number two, it only weighs just over a tonne. Now, now that sounds like a lot, but the batteries are extremely heavy. Now BMW has managed to save weight on the construction. So the i3 is made of a mix of an aluminium bottom and the top is carbon fiber reinforced plastics. All of this means the i3 weighs around the same as any conventional city car. And number three, it isn't cheap. The full electric model is £25,680 and the range extender is £28,830 and that's after the government grant subsidy of £5,000. That means the i3 costs the same as an entry level 3 series saloon. Until we get this thing into our lab and onto the road, we won't be able to give you a proper verdict on what it's like to drive. But for now, considering the price, we think you're either going to have to be a real believer in electric vehicles, or at least very wealthy, to choose one of these over a 3 Series. Click one of the links to see our coming soon video report on the Volkswagen e-Golf, to see more reviews of BMW cars, and to see all of the new cars launched at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. We're here in Frankfurt for a preview event for the Frankfurt Motor Show and in the crowd behind me you can just about make out the new Porsche 911. Now it's been said that every model in Porsche's range looks like the 911 so it's no surprise to see that the new 911 looks like a 911. In fact, it's longer, lower and has a wider track, but its basic silhouette certainly won't upset the Porsche faithful. However, the 911's always been more about driving than showing off, like some of the Lamborghinis and Bugattis we've also seen here at this Volkswagen showcase tonight. And it's what's under the lightweight aluminium and steel skin that really counts. The new 911 is more powerful and more efficient than ever before. The entry-level Carrera is powered by a 3.4-litre six-cylinder engine developing 350 brake horsepower, while a 3.8-litre S offers 400 horsepower. That's enough for 0-62 miles an hour in just 4.6 seconds for the Carrera and 4.3 seconds for the S. Inside, there are design cues from the Carrera GT supercar and, as ever, four seats, although there's still only room for small children in the back. As you'd expect, fuel economy and CO2 emissions have been improved, with headline figures of 34.4 mpg and 194 grams per kilometre for the Carrera. The Porsche will hit UK showrooms in December and prices will start from around £71,500. We can't wait to drive it and we'll be testing it before then, so keep an eye on which.co.uk forward slash cars for details of the new 911 and all the other cars from the Frankfurt Motor Show. We've just put the new Golf GTI through our test lab and we were really impressed with it, but now Volkswagen's gone one better with this, the Golf R, its new flagship, it's the fastest Golf ever. How fast? Try 4.9 seconds. That's the amount of time the Golf R takes to get to 62 miles an hour if you opt for the DSG semi-auto gearbox and that's quick enough to worry a few Porsche drivers. 
if you go for the standard six-speed manual gearbox, 0 to 62 miles an hour takes 5.3 seconds. Now the Golf R uses basically the same two-litre turbocharged engine as the GTI, but it's tuned up to just under 300 brake horsepower. And of course, it's got four-wheel drive, so there's plenty of traction. There's also an electronic differential on both the front and back axle, which can break the inside wheel when you're cornering to really pull you around the corners and make it handle better. What else is new about the Golf R? Well, it's got lower suspension and bigger brakes. And as you'd expect, it's got some styling tweaks as well, including 18 inch alloy wheels or the optional 19 inch wheels you can see here, plus four drain pipe sized exhausts at the back to leave people in no doubt what they've just been overtaken by. But while the Golf R looks a bit more outrageous than we'd expect from Volkswagen, the interior is still quite staid. But hey, this is a five door hatchback with a big boot, so you won't hear any complaints from us. We're expecting prices for the Golf R to start from around £30,000 when it goes on sale in spring 2014. That puts it on par with BMW's M135i and it'll need to be seriously good to beat that car. You can watch the BMW taking on the Golf GTI and the Mercedes A45 AMG in our video group test by clicking the link below. Or click the other links for our VW Golf full review and all the other cars from here at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show.